guys, this is Christy Fogg with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Well, today I have a sneak peek for you from the new annual catalog that starts May 4th. And this is the Pansy Petal Suite. I'm actually using everything that comes in the suite. This is probably going to be an online class. I'm not sure if it's going to be my first one in May or one in June. We'll see. But it's definitely going to be one, so keep your eyes out for that. I'm going back and forth between this one and another suite. I think the hand pinned. So it's going to either be the hand pinned in Mar May or this one. But this one is so much fun to play with. And I thought I've got to make this because my mom loves pansies. That's one reason I got it. And I love pansies too. And we've got, uh, I'm using one of the retired embossing folders on this. This is the Scripty 3D folder. I say it gives it a bit, really neat botanical look having that. So if you don't have this embossing folder, you want to get it real soon. It's while supplies last or until May 3rd, 2021. So we get a hold of that real soon. Okay, I'm going to show you the products that are in the suite, including the five end colors, because that's the neat thing about this suite. It has all five end colors in the designer series paper. Now, I'm only going to use three, but I'll still show you all the end colors here in just a minute. So let's get started. Okay, let's show you the stuff in the suite really quick. I love this. First, let me show you the end colors. Here are the gorgeous end colors that are in the designer series paper. We've got Evening uh, Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, soft succulent, polished pink, and pale papaya. Now these are the two I'm not using today in this card, but they are so pretty too, I love them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put these over to the side because I'll be using those here in a minute. And let me show you everything that comes in this suite. First off, the bundle. Here's the stamp set, and it's got greetings with it too. And here are the pansy dies that go along with it. Now you can purchase these separately starting May 4th, or purchase them as a bundle, which saves you 10%. So the bundle is the best deal. And I love how there's some greetings in this stamp set. Love all the different pansies. There are even dies that you don't have to use stamping. It does a little embossing, so you can make some pieced uh, uh, pansies, because it's got little layers that you can add onto it. Really neat. And then the other thing I want to show you are the bumblebee trinkets. These are also in the suite. You get 20 in a pack. Aren't those cute? I really like these and I'm using these on my card too. And we've got the designer series paper. It's called Pansy Petals DSP. And aren't those colors gorgeous? So this actually shows all the different colors in this paper. We've got uh, Blackberry Bliss, which is a dark purple. Then we've got Bumblebee, which is the yellow. Calypso Coral, which would be this color here, the darker one. Then we've got um, ev Evening Evergreen, so that's the darker green that's in the leaves. Then we've got, actually, that may not even be, I think that's the soft succulents. This would be the evergreen right here. Then we've got Fresh Freesia, so that's the lighter purple. The uh, Pale Papaya, which is the lighter color with the Calypso Coral. Then we've got polished pink, which is that pink. And then we've got soft sea foam, which you already have seen that color. That would be that lighter green right there. And then the soft succulent, which is that medium color green. So I hope you like this paper. The colors are just gorgeous. So we've got this pretty one here. And this is the one I'm actually using on the card. Then we've got this side. This one, and the neat thing with this, let me grab these dies. We've got leaf dies and they match up with the paper right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out too because I'm gonna be using these in the card. And then the narrow ones, we've got that one that fit perfectly. So you can die cut leaves out if you don't wanna do any stamping. And then we've got this side here with gingham. Who doesn't love gingham? And I'd say this is the soft succulent color. Then we've got this one here, the bunch of little pansies on it. And then this side, nether gingham. So this would be the fresh freesia. Now this one, you can do pansies. So we've got the large pansy die here, which will do all, the, all of the large ones on this. And I love how they're all spaced out. So you don't have to worry about them overlapping. You'll be able to cut all of these out. And then we've got this one for the smaller pansy. So I, I just love that they started doing this, making images in the paper that die cut, that can be die cut out with the dies. I think that's just oh, it's genius. <laughs> then we've got this side. This one, 
and this one, this one, and this one. Oh, another gingham. So this would be the um, papaya one, which I can't remember the name. Pale papaya. There we go. Still learning those colors. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the card. I'm going to grab my Blackberry Bliss cardstock. This is the card base, five and a half by eight and a half. Once again, we will fold this in half, line up those corners. That's the easiest way to fold things in half is to line up your corners. Okay. And let's go ahead and do some stamping and then we'll do some die cutting. So I'll put this over to the side. Okay, I am going to be using my Stamparatus, but I thought this might be a little easier to do the first stamp without it because I'm going to stamp off with this. Now you can definitely use a Stamparatus to do that, but I'm going to take the Fresh Freesia, ink this up, stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp it right here because that one you don't have to worry about lining up. I just wanted a lighter version of that Freesia color. Okay, now we're ready for the Stamparatus. One little tip I want to let you know, whenever you store this, you want to have one that's not attached because once I get this, this one I can lay flat so it's still attached. When I attach this and lay it down, it can't go down all the way. So you don't want to bust your plate. So just a lot better to have them, at least one of them, not attached. Okay, that's just a little tip. Now we'll go ahead and open this up. This is a photopolymer set. I could have used the foam mat that comes with this, which is just black like this one, but I like using this deluxe one that's in the annual catalog. So I'm going to put that in here. I love having that grid. You can line things up better. And I think it actually is just a teeny bit thicker having that extra plastic on top. And it's uh, textured. I, I just love it. Okay, this, I think I forgot to tell you the size of this. Is this a four and three quarter by two and a quarter inch piece of basic white? I'm going to put it all the way in the corner. Grab one of those magnets on the back. And I've got three layers of washi tape on here. That way the washi tape's a little stronger and I'm able to get a hold of the magnet a lot better because it's pretty strong. It makes it a lot easier to pick up that handle. Okay, make sure it's all up there in the corner. Now, take the Pansy Patch stamp set. I wanna take the Detail Pansy here. Now this, I'm gonna put all of the stamps that use the Fresh Freesia color. So I've got that lined up there. If I can get to quit sticking on my finger, there we go. And then we need this little guy. Let me look at my card. And those are the only two we're doing the Fresh Freesia in. And I'm leaving room because we're gonna do leaves and stuff on here too. So I've got those in place. Bring this down to pick them up. Okay. Make sure this is still in the corner in case it moves. Because sometimes the photopolymer stamps are a little sticky and they'll bring the paper up. So that's a nice to have it in the corner. Okay, so we've got that inked up. Put that down. Make sure it's pressed really good. Bring it up. There we go. We've got it lined up perfectly. Now you can see why I stamped off, because I wanted to have a little lighter version than what it was here. Okay, let's turn this one around. And we're now we're going to use a different color. We're going to use Blackberry Bliss. We'll go ahead and finish the flowers off first. And let me look at my stamps here. We need to get this one right here. I'm going to put that one right in the middle. It is so fun to build up these pansies. And then we've got a detailed one for the little bl uh, bloom. Get that lined up. I'm at an angle, so hopefully I'm lining up good because I don't want to get my head in your way. Okay, and those are the only two I'm doing the Blackberry Bliss with. So now I'll bring this down, catch those. Make sure the paper's there in the corner again. Ink these up with the Blackberry Bliss. That looks pretty good those down. There we go. We've got those colored in. Now we're going to go with the leaves. So now I'm going to use my top plate here. You may not see it when it catches on here, but that's okay. You know what I'm doing. We will grab the stamp set again, and we're going to do the soft succulent ones first. So the ones that are bold. So I think that one's going to fit there. This one will fit about right here. Okay. We will bring this down. Okay. Now this time I'm going to use my, oops, get that in the corner again, my soft succulent. And good, you can still, still see the stamps up here. So we've got that, those inked up. Bring this down. Okay. And there we've got those stamped. 
And now we're gonna do the evening evergreen. And that's gonna take a few more stamps, get these closed up so they don't dry up on me. Okay, where'd my put, there we go. I'm throwing things around again. Okay, we need this one right here to do a little branch. And this one here. So those are fitting pretty good. And then we've got another layer we can put on those leaves. So I'm gonna grab this one. This is for the fatter one. Oops, help if I didn't do it upside down. Get that lined up. And then we've got another one for this one. These are brand new, so they're sticking to my fingers like crazy. There we go. Those are ready to go. Oops, I forgot to lift this up. Hopefully I won't move the stamps. Good, they didn't move. So we're gonna flip this around. Okay, bring this down to pick these up. Get this back in the corner again. There we go. And grab the evening evergreen. I can definitely see me using these greens at Christmas. They are so pretty. Okay, and these are textured, so some of them will be a little lighter in places. See, I don't know if you can tell on this one. There's, I just love the detail in our stamps. Bring this down. Okay, and those are ready to go. I went ahead and took all the stamps off on my plates again, because I thought you don't need to sit and watch me do that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some more stamping with this and just keep doing it with the stamp apparatus because it is pretty easy. I just had to clean those off and take them off again. I'm gonna take this little center, I don't know if you can see that, it's real small, but it fits perfectly inside the center here. So I'm gonna lay that down. This is the only thing I'm doing in Bumblebee. So I'll put that down, just little enough, it didn't move my paper. And this Bumblebee color is an end color that's uh, gonna be available for another year. So you've got an, plenty of time to still get this color if you don't have it already. It's a really pretty yellow. Okay, got that. Now we will get this out of the way. I have something else to color. We will go ahead and turn this one around, or stamp I mean. I'm gonna grab that fresh freesia. We're gonna put this in the corner and I'm gonna use the long one here, a little hello from me to you. Oh, and I forgot to mention, did, you probably noticed, this is the way the new the photopolymers are gonna be now. They do come with that um, cellophane, but you can take them off and put them right over the images that are printed on the label on this paper here. Makes it a whole lot easier keeping track of your stamps. Now this, a little hello, it's gonna go near the bottom. So I'm gonna put it right here, try to get it straight, get it to quit sticking on that finger there. Let's go ahead and put my magnet up there so the paper doesn't move anymore. Keep moving this until I've got it where I want it. That looks pretty good. Bring this down. Oh good, I'm still on the screen. I was afraid I got out there for a second. You get to work and then forget to look. Then this is Blackberry Bliss. Beautiful purple to go along with this fresh freesia. Get that stamped. The neat thing about the Stamparatus, if I didn't get it pushed down on the whole thing, I can just re-ink it and do it again because it lines up perfectly again. Okay, let's go ahead and do the inside of the card quick while we've still got this out. So you need to grab a four by five and a quarter inch piece of the basic white, put this in the corner. We'll use, uh, since I've all used both sides of this, we'll use this one here. I'm going to grab a smaller um, flower here. And first off, I'm gonna use this one put it right here in the corner, bring this down, and I'm going to use the Fresh Freesia color with it. So we'll grab this, ink that here, hold it down, that looks good. Now I'll flip this around, and now we're going to use the Blackberry Bliss on the detail stamp that goes along with it. So I'll just lay that right here on top of it. That looks pretty good. Bring this down before it moves on me. Back in the corner, grab my Blackberry Bliss. Get that inked up. Now one thing you're noticing, I'm, I'm getting some ink there. As long as I don't push on this plate, I don't have to worry about it getting on here. I'm just gonna put pressure on the stamp and we'll be good. There we go. Now we've got that little center. It's not gonna be lined up. Let me grab my chamois here 
We'll get that yellow one cleaned off. I'm gonna do it like this first. <laughs> Don't wanna get that one stamped on there again. We'll grab this little guy. Get him right there in the middle of the flower, if I can get a hold of him. I have to admit, this little one is hard to get a hold of sometimes. We want it to go about the shape. It's a little bigger than the opening there, but I'll show you how it still looks good that way. Put that there, get back up there. Let me make sure I line that up. Yeah, I thought so. That was not up all the way when I first put it down. I noticed I had to move it. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That paper was in the right spot to begin with. Okay, there we go. Always make sure that paper's where it needs to be or it won't be lined up right. Okay. There we go, we got that ready to go. Now we're gonna put a greeting up here. So since this stamp is small, it's a lot easier to take off. I'm gonna hurry up and put that in my little, and I'm also don't wanna lose it, so I'm gonna put it back in my packaging. And let me see what greeting I used. I think it's this one, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this up here near the top, in the center. Grab it. Do my evening evergreen, it's the color I'm using. Put that right here. Perfect. If I kind of wish I'd made a mistake so I could show you how easy it is, but if I had, I would just ink it up, push this back down, and it's still lined up perfectly. That's a really neat thing about the Stamparatus. Okay, we have got all the stamping done. We'll have to get the die cutting machine out, so make sure you get that out, and then we can continue making this card. Okay, let's go ahead and do some embossing first. So get your die cutting machine. This is the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm using platform number one. And it's a 3D folder, so I don't need any of the cutting plates, but I will need the specialty plate. And this comes with the machine, and you can also purchase it separately. Okay, I'm gonna grab my scripty. I am going to miss this folder. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this one's retiring. So you've got until May 3rd or while supplies last. So it could sell out before May 3rd, so you want to get it right away. Now I'm going to grab my um, piece of fresh freesia and I'm only going to emboss the top part of it. Now, normally when you put one of these in, you have to want to put it in fold first. Now the neat thing about our new machine, it is just a little bit wider than the old one we had. And I love, because with the old one, whenever I had to do a fold over at the side, it was so hard not to get it to scrape on the side. Normally it always scraped. And then it would wear this out and I've had a couple break. Well, with this being just a little bit wider, I don't have to worry about that. As long as I keep it on this plate, so it's not going over the plate, it's not going to scratch the sides. Because on this one, the words are going this way. And this is the way I'm gonna put the paper in. So to do fold first, it would be too wide. So that's why I'm going to do it this way. Make sure, because the first time I did this, the words were upside down. So make sure your words aren't upside down. And if you're worried about getting it completely straight, you can put it down here with the uh, line that's in the folder, like so. Put this in. Like I said, the fold is up here. That way the, the paper can fit. Put the specially plate on top and run it through. That's one of the big things I love about this new machine, how this is just a little bit wider so you don't have to worry about hurting your embossing folder. So there's the script. Okay, now let's get ready for a die cutting. So we'll get the specialty plate out of the way. We still want platform number one. Then you need your die plate number two and a standard, standard cutting plate number three. So put that there. I'm gonna grab that piece that we just stamped. And let's, let's see how many dies we can get on there. And I did forget to get a few of the dies. So these were the ones that I showed you I'll cut out those images in the designer series paper. But we also need this little stem here. And we need this one right here. So those will be all the dies we need. Grab the big one here. Line that up. We'll see if we can get them all done. Sometimes when you stamp, they might be a little too close and I may not be able to get them all done, but we'll see. Actually, we don't need this little one. I don't know why I got that one out, but we'll go ahead and leave it in the dish. <laughs> it's better to have too many dies than not enough. Yep, it looks like we're going to have to do this a couple times because it's too close to that, so that's fine. Let's grab this here, and then we've got, oops, I did forget another die. This one right here, you want that little bloom die. So get that right there. So that looks like enough for right now. 
we're going to grab another standard cutting plate to put right on top. I've got this raised up. Put that one underneath the machine, but then gradually put this down. That way I can hold it down. That makes it so the dies don't move when you do it that way. Okay, so we've got those cut out. Isn't that pretty? I just love that pansy. Let's get that in the dish so I don't lose it. Because I have been known to lose things. Oops, this one's stuck a little bit. Okay, so we're done with that die. And this one. Put this back here in place. Oops, we don't need that one yet. Now, I think we can do both the leaves. I think they're far enough away. And that last little stem. Oops. Help if I got a hold of the dies here. That dish is handy, but sometimes it's hard to get a hold of them because they're all stacked up. Okay, so yeah, we had plenty of room for that. Let's see if we can get that one on too. Yes, that's going to be just fine. Okay, got that laid down just the same way. Now the neat thing with these little dies, you can definitely use the little stamp and cut and emboss machine. The only reason I got my big one out is so I could do more so it wouldn't take too long in the video. And when I did that embossing, I definitely needed to use the, the bigger one to do that embossing folder. Okay, we are going to die cut one more thing. You want to grab your last piece of basic white. This is two and a quarter by three and a half. And I'm going to use the uh, stitched rectangles dies. The, uh, these have been in the catalog for a while. They're in the annual catalog and will be again. This is the number three die. So whenever you count that big set that's in there, like three different little sets in it, this is the number three. I start counting with the smallest one as being number one. And that, so this is like the second to the smallest, or third to the smallest, sorry. Go ahead and put that in. Now, whenever I do rectangles, it's better to have a, the corner go in first. It doesn't, uh, it helps the die not get warped and it also helps your machine and you don't have that cl clicking sound or crunching sound. So we've got that ready to go. And we have one more thing to die cut. I'm using a brand new die set. I'll get that die in there. And it's called scalloped contour dies. Now this coordinates with another stamp set and I will do a video with that stamp set too. But these frames as you see them and the scallop too could be used with any stamp set that you own. And I'm actually using a number three die here too. So one, two, three. So this is the one I'm using. And you want to take a piece of the ever, I mean evening evergreen. I always want to call it ever instead of evening at the beginning. This is a two and three quarter by four. We'll put this in. Once again, I'm going to put it, have the corner go in first. Get this on there. Just make sure it doesn't have to be centered just as long as it's within the paper. And yes, they're stitched too. I don't know if, there you go, you can see that a little bit, I think. So that is all the die cutting we need to do. So I'll get this out of the way and we'll start making the card. Okay, let's finish this card up. Let's go ahead and grab the card base and the inside of the card. I don't think I creased that very well. There we go. And we're going to attach this to the inside. This is the easiest part of the attaching. Make sure you get adhesive in all the corners and along this long side. Should be plenty. Now, if you wanted to keep stamping, you could stamp leaves on this little flower down here. But I thought that was fine just doing it that way. So we've got the card paste done. Let's go ahead and grab a piece of that Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. This is a four by one and a half. And we're gonna put it along the bottom of that fresh freesia right here. And I'm gonna put it right above the words there. Let's get that all lined up. That looks pretty good. So we've got that on there. Now we'll go ahead and put this on the card base because we're not gonna be putting any ribbon on this card. So we don't have to worry about that. Get that right here in the center. Actually, if you want a simple card, that looks good just doing that. <laughs> but we wanna add those pansies on there. So let's grab this guy here and the rectangle. Now some of the rectangles in this stitch die set don't fit perfectly with this. This actually is probably not exact, but it is so super close, nobody's gonna tell the difference. So I was glad I checked it out and tried it. So if you've got the stitched rectangles, you're good to go. But you could also just kind of measure the inside here and uh, then you know how big you want this piece and just cut it out with your uh, paper cutter. 
Ooh, it looks like I have a little bit of a mess on this one. I think we'll be okay if we keep it up there. I'll have the flower cover that up. Don't know where that came from. Oh, there it go. Just was stuck to it. Okay, this we'll go ahead and put on the card base with our seal again. And I'm, it probably doesn't matter, but I don't wanna have any glue sticking out of that stitching. So I'm keeping it within the stitching again. And then we'll put this right about here. Okay. Now here are all the pieces for our um, flowers. I'm gonna grab my, uh, I can never remember the silicone mat. I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive right here the nice thing about having this adhesive, I mean, the, I just went blank again, this little mat here, silicone mat, there we go, craft mat. I'm going to put this down here. If I have any adhesive that's a little narrow, like this is narrow, it's going to get on here and not my work surface, and it peels right off, which is nice. So I'm going to lay this about right here. And the neat thing about a seal, if it's not exactly where I want it, for the first 10 minutes, I can lift it back up again and reposition it. Now, this is going to go on with dimensionals. So let's go ahead and put dimensionals on here right now. I think I'm going to put two up here at the top and one down here at the bottom, just so it doesn't wobble. We could probably get by with just two, but I don't want it wobbling. Oh, actually, let's not take the backing off yet. We will lay this down. Make sure that's where you want it. And then the leaves. Well, I'm going to play around with these leaves because I haven't done these this narrow leaf with it before. I think we'll put that over here and this one here. And I actually am not going to have them angle. I thought it looked so funny going up even though those stems kind of go up. They're going to get covered up anyway. So I'm going to put it like this because I think it looks better coming down from the flower. When you look at pansies, it's more what they look like. So let's bring this down. So now that I know that that looks good where those leaves go, I'm going to leave those right there. Just leave them laying there. Now I'll take the backing off of this. And you want to make sure you have them. So, oh, I didn't get that one off. I've got them more inside because I'm going to be sticking some things inside here, and I don't want those dimensionals to get in the way. So we will lay this right here. Okay, pull these out. Put a little bit of adhesive on here. One strip should do it. And just make sure you cover up that little stem that's sticking up there. Since we're going a different direction, you could definitely do it the other way, but I've liked it better this way. And we'll stick that one in there. Okay, so we've got those there. Now, grab this little guy. This one's actually easier, I think, with glue dots. You can definitely use your adhesive. I think I'm just gonna take a glue dot, put it on this bigger part here, and I'm not going to worry about doing it down here because this is going to be tucked in, in here. Kind of angle it like this. I think I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. The reason I'm able to move it is because I'm not pushing down on that uh, mini glue dot just yet. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. And I did move it kind of over here because that way I can still lift this up a little bit because there's no adhesive there and slide this underneath. So we've got our last little bloom. Put a glue dot on it. Kind of stick it underneath that stem. There we go. Just a little bit, doesn't have to be stuck in too much. And we, oh, I got ready to say the card is done, but it's not. We could definitely have stopped there. And I was actually thinking about stopping there when I first made the card, but I thought it needs a little something right there. And that made me remember these uh, bumblebee trinkets and I was excited that I thought of them because that means I'm using everything in this in that suite so these go in on really easy with the glue dot just put the put it right on top of that glue dot lift it up and we'll put that little bee right there and that gives a little bling to your card so that is it that's my first pansy patch bundle card hope you enjoyed it like I said I do plan on doing a class with this real soon if not in May, it'll definitely be in June because I'm going between this one and the hand pinned. So I'll let you know for sure here real soon. So uh, before the catalog comes out, that way you don't order those because when you buy those collections, that gives you the class. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to uh, see all my videos and not miss any of them, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Just click that little subscribe button below in the bottom right corner. And then um, 
so click on that little bell icon that pops up and select all that way you'll be notified every time I do a video and if you live in the United States and do not have a demonstrator of your own I would love to be yours right now we've got the new annual catalog I'm um, if you want this just click that um, contact me link below in my video description give me your mailing address and I'll get one mailed out to you along with the uh, January to June mini catalog if you don't have that so I hope and if you don't have the current annual catalog now this one's only available for a couple more weeks let me know that and I, I've got a few of these left too but these are the two that you definitely want if you don't have them yet because this one we still have till the end of June and then this beauty right here I'd love to show you the inside can't do that yet but pretty soon I'll be able to show you the inside so I hope you enjoyed today's card and keep uh, watching out for more sneak peek because I'm going to make some more cards here real soon and please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up or commenting below. I really do appreciate it. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.